In this video, we are going to understand about the number line and how do we deal with the whole numbers or locate them on the number line. Now, if you go back, what is a number line? A number line is something which represents various numbers. So let's say if this point were to be considered as zero, this was one. So what I have done is I've taken a distance between these two grids. This distance which I've taken is known as the unit distance. Why? Because it represents one distance between these two points. If I again take an equal amount of distance from one to two, okay, then I will mark this point as two and the distance between zero and one would be equal to distance between one and two or in other words these two are equidistant. Similarly I can go ahead and write three, four, five, six, seven, eight and this number line can go on indefinitely. Right? But how do you find out the numbers on a number line? Obviously, if you have to locate a particular number, it's simple, right? If I have to find out 5, I'll just look at the number line and find the number 5. But what if I have to find a number which is greater than 5? The sign represents greater. If I have to find a number greater than 5, how can I find it out? Or which side should I look it for? If you notice for any given number and because we are talking about 5 we will look at over here for any given number the numbers on the right side okay of a given number on the number line are higher or simply greater than the given number. So if I look at 5, 6, 7, 8 are what lies on the right side and they are greater. As against this if I have to actually look for number 6 what do I get on the right side? I get number 7 and 8 and again they are greater. Right? So by this what we can say is that there is a rule which exists for a number line and that is that the number on the right side of any given number is greater than the number itself and this we've already seen for 5 and 6 if you want to try it once again let's say if we look at 2 all the numbers which are on the right side of 2 are greater than 2 right similarly if I see on the left side of any given number, so let's say 4. If I move towards the left side of 4, what I found out is we have 3, 2, 1. And all these numbers are smaller than 4. Okay? So in other words, all the numbers on the left side of a given number are smaller than the number itself. If you look for 6 and you move towards the left, you get 5, 4, 3. Okay, and all of them are smaller than 6. Again, this is the second rule that we get. Which is that all the numbers on the left side of a given number are smaller than the number itself. Right? So whenever I have to locate a particular whole number on a given number line, if it is higher than a particular number, okay, I will always look at it from the right side. If it is lower than a particular number, I will look at it for in on the left side. And this rule you can use to find out any numbers. So let's say for example if in this number line I ask you to find out the number 8, okay? And the only thing which was visible to you, let's say for example, was the number 2. Okay? You know where 2 is and I tell you to find out 8. So what would you do? 8 is greater than 2, so there is no point looking towards the left side. Rather than this, what I am going to do is, instead of looking on the left side, I would look on the right side of a given number. 2. Right? Try many questions that should help you practice and 
learn this thing better.